Hey everyone, welcome to my code. Where in this video, we're going to learn how to handle CSS with Webpack. So to use CSS with Webpack, we need to use a loader. And a loader is a function that transforms source code. For example, there are Webpack loaders that transform TypeScript to JavaScript, SCSS to CSS, etc. We do not need a loader for JavaScript, as Webpack knows JavaScript code out of the box. However, for other resources like TypeScript files and style sheets, we need to install a loader for them. Webpack loaders are available on NPM, such as TS Loader for TypeScript and CSS Loader for CSS. So to work with CSS, we need to use a CSS loader. And a CSS loader transforms CSS into a string and loads it into a JavaScript file. An example of a CSS loader is the CSS loader from NPM. So let's install it from NPM. It's just called CSS loader like this. And we'll install it as a development dependency. And now that we have that installed, what we have in here is a Webpack configuration that will use the CSS loader to handle CSS files. So here, this module key, actually this is wrong here, the module key should actually be here. So this module key right here tells Webpack how different module types should be handled. A module is essentially a discrete chunk of code. This rules key tells Webpack how it should handle each module. What it accepts is an array of rule objects, which we can see one right here. A rule object tells Webpack how to handle a certain module. And the test key right here is a test that must be passed for the loader to be ran. Here, the test says that the file must be a CSS file or end in .css to be transformed by the CSS loader. And the use key right here sets either a single loader or multiple loaders to be applied to the files that pass the test. Now let's actually add some CSS into a CSS file. And I'm gonna do that inside a public file here, a folder, call it styles.css. And all I'm gonna do is add some simple styling. Now let's go into our entry point, which is this index.js file specified right here. And let's import this CSS file. So I'm just gonna paste this in. We're gonna import styles from public style CSS. And now let's build this bundle. And the way I'm gonna do it is with a script I have here, which is just gonna be running Webpack with our configuration. And this is npm run build. Now if we look at our output dist folder right here, and if we click on this actually, and we inspect it, Let's look for h1, and we can actually see our CSS placed in here, and it's been converted to a string. But now we need a way to get these styles to be displayed inside an HTML page. And we can do this using another loader, which is called the style loader. And we can install that from npm with npmi style loader dash d. And what the style loader does is it takes output from the CSS loader and applies it to the DOM. Specifically, it takes the output from our CSS loader and places it inside a style tag. But now we need to tell Webpack to use this style loader on CSS files as well. And to do this, we can now supply an array to our use key. So back inside our Webpack configuration, what instead of supplying a single loader, we supply multiple. And note that the order supplied to this array is very important. We want our CSS loader to be ran before our style loader because first our CSS is transformed into a string and placed inside the JavaScript bundle file by the CSS loader. This output is then placed into a style tag by the style loader. Loaders provided to use are executed from last to first. So here is last and this is first. So CSS loader will be run first and then style loader will be ran next. Now let's just create an HTML file inside our dist folder. I'm actually just gonna copy this one. Of course we could use Webpack to do this, but for demonstration I'm just gonna place it directly in the bundle output directory. And inside this h1 tag, or inside this HTML file, we have an h1 tag right here. Now let's serve up this HTML tag, and I'm gonna do this with live server. And now we have our HTML file here, but actually what we need to do is run our build process again so we get the style loader to create our style tag. And now it's been updated, and we can see we have our styles applied, which is just an h1 tag, changing the color of that, and changing the background color of the body. And actually, if we inspect this, so let's inspect our HTML, we can see inside here, we have our style tag placed right here, which was placed in by the style loader. Something to note though, is that these styles are being created by our JavaScript. So it is this bundle right here. So inside here is this bundle that is creating these style tags. So if we comment this out, for example, and reload, we can see our styles have disappeared. So in other words, the style loader injects these styles at runtime using JavaScript. If we want to include static files, then we should use a plugin 
called the mini CSS extract plugin. So you can install that from NPM as mini CSS extract plugin, once again, as a development dependency. And so a plugin is a feature of Webpack that allows us to access or plug into Webpack's lifecycle. And this allows us to do things such as configure global constants at compile time, monitor Webpack's compilation process, create HTML files to serve the bundles Webpack creates, and more. The, HT, the mini CSS extract plugin, what that does is it creates a CSS file per JavaScript file that contains CSS. So here we have a JavaScript file that contains a CSS file. So the mini CSS extract plugin would create a CSS file from that. So now let's change our Webpack configuration to use this plugin. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it in here. And so what we have is we require it at the top and then inside a plugins key right here, we create an instance of this and then we replace our style loader with the mini CSS extract plugin loader. And now if we run this, so let's do npm run build again, we can see if we look in our output directory that we now have a main.css file and it contains our styles. And now what we would just have to do, of course, is alter our HTML file here to link to this CSS. So for example, something like this, we would just insert a link tag, but this can also be done by configuring, I believe, this plugin and also the HTML Webpack plugin, but that's for a different video. I basically just wanted to show you how you can actually create or output CSS files and not have it be created through JavaScript. But so that's all I wanted to show there. Now let's talk about CSS modules. So outputting the CSS to a style tag or a separate CSS file is useful, but can lead to some issues with conflicts as these are global styles. To fix this, we can use CSS modules. And CSS modules are scoped to the component that they are imported into. Component being, say you're using React or Angular. So React or Angular component. And we can actually use our CSS loader. We can configure that to use modules. And so I'm actually gonna get rid of the CSS extract plugin now. I'm gonna just go back in here and I'm gonna copy in what we used to have essentially, which we're using our style loader again. And, but now with our CSS loader, instead of just passing as a string, we're passing a configuration object. So this modules key right here tells the CSS loader to use modules for all files. To demonstrate this, what we should do is let's add a class to our styles.css file. So inside here, we have a class now called cheese. And now inside our JavaScript file, let's import this class. So I'm gonna paste some code here. We're gonna import this, and then we're gonna access the class. So we're basically importing this whole file, and then we're accessing the cheese class right here and setting it as a class on a div. And now let's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this back into our distribution file or actually we need to run this again. So let's run npm run build. And now if we serve up our index.html right here, we can see the styles have been applied. So thanks to the Webpack Loader customization, we can now access this cheese class right here from our CSS file in our JavaScript file. So essentially we're using CSS modules to treat the CSS almost like a JavaScript object. And also let's now inspect in here. And if we look at our style tag, we can see a custom class name. So we called it the class cheese, but when we're using modules, we can see how Webpack has changed this to some arbitrary, arbitrary string value and then applied that as the class. And of course, this will avoid collisions with other styles. So in other words, Webpack has created a custom class name that will not collide with another one. But so this is my video on how to handle CSS with Webpack. If you like this video, please consider supporting me by downloading my Chrome extension called Wit Scepter, link in the description. Besides that, thank you for watching and have a good one.